Hey guys, welcome to Operation Crypto. We're going to take a, another look at reserve rights. It's been around uh, 10 days now since we looked at it last, and we need to have a look at some key levels and, and what's generally going on across the market. I mean, Bitcoin is pretty much going sideways now. We've had a nice bounce off that, um, that higher time frame trend. As you can see, we had um, this was the start of a trend. We've then had several weeks and no closures below that trend. So that is a, the area we need to stay above. If we do stay above this, then it's going to be good for altcoins. And so far, this weekly candle is looking okay. If it manages to stay in the green, we need to really stay above uh, 36k by Sunday, which is tomorrow. Um, then it might give us a bit of a spring, and then we can go on and attack that 42k region. If that does happen, obviously, it's going to bring altcoins up with it. But reserve rights, I mean, it wasn't a, a, a good run back in April. And then we've had that shakeout. Uh, we had an, a little bit of a rally, but it's been quite subdued, to be honest, over the last 12 months, really. Um, I'm expecting big things from reserve rights, and, and I still think that um, we're a long, long way off that yet. But once mainnet's out, once staking's out, um, and once the use case of um, the product is in full swing, I think we'll really um, start to see some major growth in the, in the price action. Currently down at 1.8 cent, which is crazy. First key level to notify you of is this one here. You can see it's a clear confluent area. We're currently set at support here, so at 0 0.0164. It was support back in July. And then we've got multiple taps of support and resistance back in that trading area of October 2020. Um, so that's a key area. If you're looking to buy, I would still use that area to, to load up. And then also you can potentially look at this. I know it's a little, it's fairly close, but if you're on a DCA, um, it's, if you look at that level, that's a weekly level. If we just have a bit of a zoom in, you can see it was resistance here, um, support, support, support. So that's another level at 1.47. So you're talking... If you want to ladder some orders in, what I do is put some from um, around mid ground here on this week, so at 1.7 cent all the way down to 1.4 cent. I think if we did lose that level, you're going to come down and test these wicks down here, which would not be nice. That'd be less than a penny. Um, I don't think it's going to go down there, uh, but it just really depends on the king Bitcoin what that decides to do. Personally. Um, I know most of the crowd are thinking we're going to test this region here, the 28 and 29k, because it's a clear confluent area where we've tested before, and um, quite a big uh, majority think we're going to test 20k. Remember a couple of things. When we was pushing up here and we rejected fear, every man and his dog said we'll come, we was going to come down and test 20k. Didn't happen. We went on to rally and create new all-time highs. We then dropped. I remember back in May, everybody here was screaming 10k, um, 13k, 20k retest, it never happened, went on to create some new all-time highs. For me, I think we are in that same scenario again. You're either right or you're either wrong. Um, and I'm going to stick with a bullish narrative for now. I think um, the majority of people are into stables and, and considering where to buy and placing orders down at these levels. Um, but for me, I'm about... 70 to 80 percent in in crypto and i've been dollar cost averaging all the way down and if it does come down and i will be wrong but what i'll still continue to do is buy in so for me bulls only and and that goes to reserve rights like i say um areas to buy down here if we do get a bit of bullish price action and we start to pick up some momentum really we need to get back uh, above these um, EMA 20 on the weekly time frame. So that's around 3.1 cent. Once we manage to flip that and the 50 to support, then I think we'll really start to rally. Because if you look, every time it was above the 50, price action was very favorable. Uh, we dropped down, come back up, and when we had a good bit of bullish price action, and then we've lost it again. For me, we need to get back above that on the weekly time frame. So you're really talking over the course of a, the next month, really. What I want to start to do is to see some steady progress and get a back above these EMAs here, and then that will then lead us into a nice bit of bullish price action and the price pick up. If we go full blown bear and the market just continues to bleed, you are going to lose these levels of resistance, uh, support. So you need to come down and test this level at less than a cent. Um, and if it did and you're holding, do not worry about it. If you've got some spare cash to throw in, dollar cost average down, and it will just be um, another opportunity to take. So Levels to buy from 1.7 cent, let's call it, all the way down to 1.4 cent. If you've got stables, um, don't spend them all because you never know, you might get some really cheap orders down there. 
And then levels that we need to target, we've obviously got this EMA 50 on the higher time frames at 3.5 cent. Um, so that's a little bit of price analysis on the higher time frames there. That's on weekly time frame. Um, dropping down, let's drop right down to the daily. And you can see we just continue to downtrend. We've had a nice push up there. Um, but we've been hugging that EMA 20 all the way down. Really, we need to reclaim that 20. And again, 50. On most timelines, we need to regain that 50 to, to get that bullish price action back. As you can see, when we got back above it here, we had probably... Uh, around two to three months of trading action before Bitcoin pulled us back. We are trending down um, massively, really. There's no, there's no getting away from that. Um, if we just put a bit of a trend line on here, you can see that it is a, a big, nasty downtrend that we, we really need to get back above. Um, so levels to, to buy and sell there. And then in general, I'm more in favour of a push to the upside, but that just really is reliant on the king Bitcoin. Um, just made video before look at the um, the BTC pairing. Just want to give a, a quick shout out to BlockFi. It's a platform I'm using on a day to day basis. Every single day you can earn crypto, so you can earn up to three point five percent back in crypto on every single purchase using my card. But one thing that I'm using um, to my advantage is this: you can earn crypto up to nine point five percent APY with a BlockFi interest account. Interest accrues daily, and then it's paid out monthly in Bitcoin. No hidden fees, no minimum balances, literally no reason to wait. You're not losing anything by joining. Um, if you've got some Bitcoin there that you're hodling for the future, bang it in BlockFi and earn some passive income on that. And who, who can't beat free Bitcoin? Eh? So BlockFi.com, you'll find the link right in the description. And also, if you sign up with that link and um deposit into your account you can get a bonus of up to 250 dollars so let's say go and check it out um, and then finally we just look at a btc payment which is 49 satoshis we've got a hell of a lot going on here so let's remove all that noise we'll get rid of emas uh the 50 and the 20 gone and we are just continuing to drop and we have at 49 satoshis which is is crazy and it can go low in Satoshi's if Bitcoin does go on a rally soon and it starts to, to really regain this Bitcoin dominance. If this continues to push up and we get a, a Bitcoin dominance of 49 to 52%, Satoshi's will be wrecked. And, and that is just another opportunity. So if you've got some BTC, hold it now. Um, and let's see if we do get some market um, growth on Bitcoin, dominance growth, and then Satoshi's will die off. And I mean... Look down at some of these wicks down here at 40 sats. And then the bottom of this move here uh, was marked up there. Look, 27 Satoshis. 27 is my lucky number. Um, so let's see if we can get some orders filled down there. But won't be for a while on the Satoshi pair. Really waiting for a major move on Bitcoin uh, and that dominance to start to grow. Dominance drops. I'm um, sorry, dominance climbs. Altcoins start to drop in Satoshis. And that is where, look at 27 Satoshis. That is a an absolute beauty of a level which i will be throwing my kitchen sink at if we do get that opportunity so that's it for today that's price analysis on reserve rights if you're new to this channel like i say make sure that you are subscribed hit that like button and i'll catch you next time